Good morning, everybody. Anissa from Redbird Landscape Design. Why am I watering in the middle of November? Well, in North Florida, where we're about 50 degrees this morning, maybe 49, something like that. A great way to insulate your plants is to water them in really, really well. That's what I'm doing. I've got my oscillating sprinkler here, kind of oscillating stationary sprinkler. I love it. It just keeps pivoting back and forth. Um, check out my other video way back when I first started the channel. I showed several different kinds of sprinkler systems that you can install if you don't have, have the money to put in a sprinkler system. There are great, way cheaper options. It just takes some extra work. How does water insulate a plant from the cold? Hold on. Water can act as an insulator. Plant cells that are plump with water will be stronger against cold damage. Likewise, moist soil will tend to stay warmer than dry soil. So a regular watering schedule in dry, cold weather can help protect plants from freezing temperatures. So a guideline, guidepost that you can go with is if your soil stays frozen all winter, then fall is your prime time. Make sure everything is well watered before the ground freezes. Another little tip regarding your sprinkling devices. This guy on the circle here has a timer on it. So if you get something like this, that's really helpful so you don't overwater or forget to turn it off like I have. Also, I set a timer on my cell phone, so you make sure you move it and not over water, wasting water. You don't, definitely don't want to waste water. So make sure you use the timer. It really will help you be efficient with your water consumption. Another thing to mention is also make sure you water in your pots really well. If they're dry and you actually get freezing temperatures, sorry about that, that's the watering hitting the side of the shed. So if your pots get really dry, and you get freezing temperatures, they'll turn into a little cube, ice cube, um, and those plants will die. They will desiccate, shrivel up. Uh, once root systems get past a point of being extremely dry, they can't open up again, so to speak, in layman's terms, and are able to actually absorb moisture. And if they're fragile plants and can't handle the cold, put them in a sheltered space like a garage, a shed, someplace where they'll stay warm. And here we are watering in the veggie garden. Just a plain old oscillating sprinkler. All these beds have seeds just recently planted in them. And uh, Luna's gonna get wet. Come on, good girl. Come on, you're gonna get wet. Just a regular oscillating sprinkler. This one you can control how far the stream of water goes from you can control if it goes from left all the way over to right and it has like a stop mechanism on the far end there. Great little tool to have. It can really hit your target where you want it not water the sidewalks or whatever. So I'll let that go. I'll let that watering go approximately 20-25 minutes to really give it a good soak. And that way tonight when it gets even colder than it did last night, I'm not going to have any concerns this area of the yard I have berry plants. Here is blueberry, there's a raspberry with several other canes that are popping up in there, a new raspberry tree that I just planted. There's another video for that. More blueberries, another variety of blueberry, or sorry raspberries, and then along here I also have, these are my grapevines that have gone to sleep for our winter months, and then down there is a banana. So in this space, because it's fruiting plants, I definitely need to make sure they're watered in well. It's also, doesn't matter if it's ornamental or a fruiting plant, water water. Just to further my point regarding watering, especially when it's going to get cold. So in this bed, these are caladiums that are wrapping up for the year. I also just recently planted in a couple elephant ears. The conditions for this bed, which is another thing you have to consider, is it faces north, that way. It's on the wall of the house. And as you can see, even in the summer, it gets very, very little sun. So it's a very shaded garden and it looks really dry, doesn't it? So I'm definitely going to water this in really well as well today. I'm going to spend quite a bit of time getting that done because the bulbs, even though they're down six inches or so, they can dry out. If the soil is really, really dry down there and if the bulb gets really cold, they could dry up to the point where they're desiccated, where they're dried out themselves and they will not germinate. You'll lose the plant easy thing to do to protect your investment that you've made into all your plantings. So as far as watering goes out here, I am under the canopy of a tree. 
it's pretty large. I don't know, probably about 100 feet wide. Um, it does offer protection to the plants, but if I were to get a frost, it's not going to completely protect all these plants out here. So I'm definitely going to water them in as well and make sure that they can get through any cold snaps that we're going to get. And it's just a matter of paying attention to what might be going on with your plants. And again, planning. Make sure you plant for what is in your zone that can handle cold temperatures or whatever you may have going on in your area. Always plant for your zones, as in your hardiness zones. My area is a zone 9B. So what you have in zone 9B won't necessarily do well in zone 5A. Actually, I'm watering in the front flower bed I just created with muley grass and some other ornamental grasses. Now, out here, it was just a little bit windy. Um, wanted to make the point of if it gets super windy where you're watering, if you're using an oscillating sprinkler like this, if you can, water by hand, hit each target with the hose with a watering wand and hit that target. That's an aloquat and then hit that target, hit that one. It's called spot watering. That way, because the oscillating sprinkler in the, the wind will just like flutter all over the place and it won't hit what you want to hit as far as watering goes. Just another quick tip that will help you out and help you conserve water and save money. So make sure you water your plants, folks, especially when you're gonna get a freeze. You gotta plan it out. Make sure you're not too close to the freezing time. Um, you'll end up with some damage to pipes and whatnot. You want to make sure they're drained right out completely. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It's really grown, doing very, very well. And Luna says thank you too. Have a good day.